or one place in particular. So you just tell me when we start or do you need more information? Yeah, that's, hey, you might wanna tell them uh, what you do with Gulf Shore City Schools. Well, with Gulf Shore City Schools, I am on the school board. You, you see that, you ever seen that before? And that also, we are, I'm all logoed up, but I am on the school board and we are trying to make waves today. Oops, sorry. <laughs> we are going to make waves today like you do every day, you and your teachers. So if you wanna get started, are you ready? Yes, we're ready. Okay, now this book today, it is about a student in the United States and he writes a letter and his teacher sends it around the world. And someone from India receives the letter and they begin writing letters back and forth telling about their different countries and their towns where they live. And a little bit about India, it's on the other side of the world. You know, the world is a, it's, it's a round circle, right? The world is, is round and India is on the other side of the world that we are on. And the United States is three times bigger than India in land. We have, our country is three times the size, but in India, they have four times more people than we do. So for every one of you, there's four people in India. So it's a very, very crowded, crowded country, but it's a wonderful country. And that, with that said, we are going to start reading. Okay, now the name of this book is Same, Same, But Different. And it starts off where Elliot lives in America and Kailesh lives in India. They are pen pals. By exchanging letters and pictures, they learn that they both love to climb trees, have pets and ride a school bus. Their worlds might look different, but they are actually similar. Same, same, but different. There they are, you ready? Here we go. All right, in, this is Elliot, in art class, I painted a picture of my world. My teacher mailed it across the oceans. And this is my world. That's what Elliot painted. And here is his art class where he made that with all his classmates. And he wrote this and it was sent around the world. Then a boy drew back with colors of the sea. And this is what he drew back. This is my world, same, same, but different. So in his world, He's got a river running through and he's got some, some, some boats and a big castle, beautiful trees. And he is from India. Elliot got the letter and he saw, he wrote back and said, this is me. My name is Elliot and I love to climb trees. You see what Elliot's got in the trees there? That's a squirrel and another squirrel and Elliot is up in a tree house. So then he sent that to Kailesh. 
Kailesh wrote back, my name is Kailesh and I love to climb trees too. Same, same, but different. And there's Kailesh in his tree. This is me. And what does he have in his tree? He's got monkeys in his tree and Elliot has squirrels. That would be fun to have monkeys in a tree. Do you live in a tree? That's what he's asking Elliot. So Elliot writes back and says, that is my tree house where I play. I live in a red brick building with my mom, dad, and baby sister. And there is Elliot's family in his brick house. So he sends that to Kailesh and Kailesh writes back, I live with my family too, all 23 of us, my mom, dad, sister, brother, grandmother, grandfather, aunties, uncles, cousins. That's a big family living together. So he writes that to Elliot and draws the picture of his family. Oh, but he also shows, Kailesh shows, his animals. He's got a lot of pets. He's got a cow with a bell on it, another cow with a bell, another one with a bell, a lamb, chicken, a dog, goats, birds in a cage, another baby cow, and some other chickens. So those are all of Kailash's animals. And he shows that to Elliot. And Elliot says, wow, I have pets too, but not nearly as many as you. Same, same, but different. So he draws his pet. Look at this, start at the tail. What is this? That is the longest dog I have ever seen. And there's Elliot feeding his fish while his long dog watches. It's too big for the camera. Same, same, but different. Then he asks, what does it look like where you live? So the letter goes back to India. Kailesh gets it and writes back. A great river flows through my village. Peacocks dance under trees shaped like umbrellas. It sounds like a zoo. Look at that. Look at all the peacocks in Kailesh's village and these nice buildings along the river. That would be a fun boat ride. A little bit different than, than being in a boat in our water. And he also says, the sun is giant and especially hot here. That is a big sun, very hot. And he sends this back to Elliot. Elliot responds, in my city, the sun hides behind buildings as tall as the sky. There's Elliot in his city. Look at that, the sun's behind. I wonder what city that is. This is in the United States. It might be New York. It might be Chicago. He says, Taxis, taxis and buses and cars fill the streets. There we go, you see those streets? 
all full of cars and taxis and buses. That's a big city street. Or it's like our streets in the summertime when all the tourists come to Gulf Shores. Crowded. He sends it back to Kailesh. And he says, here there are few cars and still too much traffic. Same, same, but different. So what kind of traffic does Kailesh have? Let's see. That looks like a camel pulling his words. Oh, there's a car. Oh, and there's a donkey pulling a cart. Look, there's feet there. So he's pulling somebody. And there's a mama balancing her baby on one side and groceries on the other. And there's a cow asleep in the street. And of course the chicken, somebody playing music, a big van, and a mama carrying uh, something on her head so she can carry some groceries and hold her baby. And what do you think Kailesh is riding on? Look at that. Kailesh is lucky. He gets to ride on that elephant in the street full of donkeys and camels and cars and people. Don't wake up the sleeping cow. All right, he shows that to Elliot. And this is Elliot's response. I ride a bus to school with my friends. There he is on the bus, going by the barber shop, ice cream, Antonio's Deli, and one of our favorites, pizza, driving down the street on the way to school. That's Elliot. Let's see what Kailesh does. Oh. He says, so do I. Same, same, but different. So there's Kailesh's bus. You know how it gets around? That guy's pedaling his bus of Kailesh and all his friends on the way to school. And they are passing a hair salon, South Indian food, a place to fix your car. Oh, and there's a cow on the street on the way to school. Wouldn't it be fun to see cows every morning on the way to school and a chicken trying to catch up? There's Kailesh on his bus. Elliot gets his letter and responds and shows him, this is our alphabet. By the way, this is my favorite page of the whole book or the series. So he shows the alphabet. You all know this, A, B, C, D. There you go. All the letters in the English language. And at the bottom, he says, Elliot and Kailesh. And he writes it and sends all this to show Kailesh our alphabet. Kailesh wrote, writes back and says, this is our alphabet. Now pay attention here. Look at that. That is their alphabet. Now I can't say A, B, C, D, because that's not what it is, but these are different letters and symbols in the Hindu language, isn't that cool? It's like you have to draw really neat to make writing. And here Kailesh writes, that's his name in English. Can you all read that? That says Kailesh. And then 
he writes, Elliot. And that is, can you read it? it says Elliot. Same, same, but different. Elliot then says, my favorite class is art where I can be anything. There he is, what is he? It's a peacock or an eagle or something, but in art class, you can imagine anything, can't you? And Kailesh responds and says, my favorite class is yoga where I can be anything. Same, same, but different. So there's Kailesh imagining what he can be. And he's imagining himself, he's a big old lion. He's looking in the mirror, look. And what does he see? He's a big old lion. You can imagine anything. Elliot writes back and says, this is how my friends and I say hello. You and me. Shaking hands. Nope, they're bumping. Bumping fists. Clasping and, and then shaking. And you know, the old secret spiral handshake. The old snap handshake. And of course, the bump, which we do a lot these days, the past year. There's the bump. That's how they say hello. Let's see what Kailesh says. This is how my friends and I say hello. Namaste. Look, they're bowing to each other. Can you do that? Namaste. That's a lot different than the bump, but you're showing respect to each other. That's pretty cool. You guys did some good bowing. Same, same, but different. Elliot writes and says, we are best friends. And Elliot's in his tree house, it looks like. There's that squirrel outside and a bird watching him. He's got his ball, but look right here. He's got a globe in his tree house that shows him so he can look and see where Kailesh lives on the other side. He's got a telescope so he can see the stars and here he is. He likes to hang out in his tree house and what's he drawing? I think he's drawing a picture of that bird which is right there. Good job, Elliot. As he says, we're best friends. Getting ready to send that to Kailash. And of course, Kailash is sitting under a tree with a peacock watching him. You know, that's normal. We all do that, don't we? Even though we live in two different worlds. So he's drawing a picture of that peacock. Elliot gets to draw a picture of that bird. Look at what Kailesh gets to draw. That's pretty cool sitting under the shade of a tree. Well, I, he says, even though we live in two different worlds, right? Then the question is, or do we? Well, why did they say that? Well, Elliot looks like he's asleep, but he's dreaming. What's he dreaming about? Oh, namaste, imagining things, 
the great Ganga River flowing through India, the monkeys in the tree, that fun street with the camels and the cow that's asleep, riding on an elephant, such a large, fun family, and all the pets. And that's, oh, and getting on the bus, going to school. That's everything Elliot's dreaming about. And the alphabet. Let's see what Kailesh is doing. He's asleep also, and he's dreaming of Elliot's world and the treehouse with the squirrels and his family in that weird school bus without somebody riding a, a bike and the big buildings in the city blocking the sun and that funny bird and all the ways they say hello and the longest dog I've ever seen. And that is what Kailesh is dreaming about. So this book is all about being different and different, but we're really the same. And there's Kailesh waving from across the world with his peacock drawing, waving to Elliot with his bird drawing and they are best friends. And different, but the same. And that's it. Thank you so much. We enjoyed that. We got just about three minutes for questions. So if you'll send questions through the chat, I'll read them to Frank. That was an amazing book, Mr. Malone. It was good, wasn't it? Yes, so good. I wouldn't be surprised if it uh, fosters some pen pal relationships. That would be awesome. Yeah. It was written. It was written by a lady that lives in Arizona. Oh no, New Mexico. But she used to travel to Nepal and India, and it made a big impression on her. Okay. The way of life yeah. there and the people. Uh, uh Miss Woodley. Uh, Miss Woodley said hello at the beginning of it, and Miss Almire wants to know what you do for fun. <laughs> what do I do for fun? Well, I know one thing I'm doing for fun today. I'm going to watch the Gulf Shores Middle School soccer team play Alberta. So I That's love right. going to sports games. And my daughter, Nora. I'm not sure what happened. Sports together. It's not going to go back up there for some reason. Well, it's our time to go anyway. Yes. Okay. Yes. Right. Uh, so here. that's awesome. <laughs> Uh, we want to, uh, Miss Musgroves wants to say something. It's a little noisy behind me, Frank, because the fifth graders are leaving. No, it's fine. Yeah. Hey, y'all have a good day, fifth graders. Thank y'all for staying the whole time. Thank you. Appreciate All right. It. You're welcome. So what do you, uh, okay, Miss Musgrove, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Y'all are awesome. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, anybody else have a question? Well, thank you, Mr. Mullen. We really enjoyed that. That is awesome and amazing. And thank you for sharing your story and what you do for our city. We appreciate you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. And hi, Donna Robinson. Hey, Donna Robinson, you're there. Yes. She made it here. I don't know if she'll unmute herself or not. 
Let's see if I can unmute her. Donna Robinson. There you go. Talk. Now you can talk. Can you hear us? Hey, Frank. Hey, Donna. Can you hear us? Thanks. Thank we you. We enjoyed it. Great. Hey, thank you, Charlie. Hey, thank, thank you. you. Charlie. <laughs> Hey, you have a great day and enjoy that soccer game. Go Dolphins. All right. Go Dolphins. Make waves. Make waves.